hi and welcome back today I'm going to do an empties video it's just a whole hodgepodge of random stuff so I'm just gonna get started the first two things I have are bath soaks from Asda actually this is dream time and this one's warming I've had these for years and years and years and you can probably see that they're caked in dust even though I had them out they've got dusty again this smells lovely just got it on the end of my nose this has extracts of lavender and patchouli and this was lovely but I didn't use it in the bath and I didn't use this in the bath in the end either this is a warming one which has got uh, this kind of reminded me of Christmas it's got cranberry and yeah cranberry and cinnamon they were both lovely smelling but I don't take baths particularly often and I've got a collection of bath soaks and all sorts of fun things so I decided to repurpose these as hand wash. Now you can see there's some bits left in it. I just couldn't be bothered trying to get it all out into the hand pump thing. So I've been using these as hand washes and they're fine. They bubble up, they wash my hands, they're clean at the end of it. And they were, I had them in the bath, I did use them in the bath obviously initially and they were lovely in the bath, they bubbled up lovely and everything else. Cheap and cheerful, they did the job really good, check them out. Next I have an empty thing of cotton wool pads from Boots, they're fine, they're cotton wool pads, yeah I had, these were 200 pads, they came with two individually wrapped um, tubes of pads, and they're all used up. And then I have a single thing separate to that, another thing of cotton wool pads and this is only 100 and they're all used up as well. Now I have an Aussie Miracle Moist shampoo. For hair that's dry, damaged and a bit unhappy. I got this because I wash my hair every day. Now I know you're not supposed to wash your hair every day but I tend to exercise most days of the week and sweaty hair is just not peeling. No matter who you are, it's not nice. I love the smell of the Aussie, Aussie Ranger shampoos. I could just sit and sniff that all day. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But I've used the, um, the various Aussie products for well, the best part of a year really because my hair is so short I don't need very much um, and I just felt time for a change so I don't have my current shampoo isn't an Aussie one but yeah this is lovely it does what it says in the tin it never really dried my hair or anything else it always left my hair lovely and soft really enjoyed using it the next thing I have is a Cutex Moisture Guard nail polish, nail polish remover so it protects nails against breaking and it's got a nail whitening formula now it didn't really protect my nails against breaking and I didn't notice any particular nail whitening anything. It's just a nail varnish remover. Whew. And it's really got that really strong smell. Really, really strong. I wouldn't be rushing out to repurchase this. I didn't notice any difference between this one and the Super Drug Nail Polish Remover to be honest. It says it's for dry nails. It always left my nails really super dry. Like really dry. But yeah wasn't overly fussed. Now I've got some more essential cotton wool pads and these are the baby version. I sometimes go and get my cotton pads and my cotton wool balls from the baby, baby section because they're so much cheaper. Like massively, massively cheaper. And they're pretty much the same difference. I don't actually, sometimes the cotton wool pads are a wee bit softer and the cotton wool balls are also a wee bit softer from the baby section. So yeah, that's those. Next up is a Sure Women Long Lasting Clear Diamond um, Antiperspirant and yeah this is the crystal one. I really like this, the scent of this one. Uh, they now come in smaller bottles so I will be getting that at some point. I do have another one of these already in use. I tend to get backups of these things or they're on two for one or whatever else. So yeah, like this, did what it says in the tin. I tend to use this on days where I know I'm going to be, if like if I shower at night time, I will refresh myself, give myself a quick wash in the morning and use this. Don't know why, but yeah. Next is a shower gel and this is the Japanese spa one. It's the Imperial Leather Japanese Spa Nourishing Shower Cream with green tea, rice milk and jasmine. I love the smell of this. It's just so... It's sweet but not overly so. You know the way sometimes with Soap and Glory for example it's lovely and sweet but it can be a wee bit sickening sometimes. This, I never get that with this. I absolutely love it. It's a white cream one and it foams up really really well. It leaves me lovely and clean and everything else. I tend to alternate between shower gels and my Dove soap. So yeah, love this. 
have repurchased this multiple times already usually when it's on offer next up we have shaving gel it's a smoothing care it's the boot zone for dry skin i like this shaving gel it doesn't dry out my skin anymore as much and gives me a close shave next is another aussie product it's the mega conditioning for everyday conditioning it's got a new formula with aloe vera again i love this as well i prefer the smell of the uh, shampoo but this was nice and it did leave my hair nice and soft and shiny i liked it next is uh another shower gel it's the boots zingy mint shower gel i love this in the mornings it really wakes me up or if you need to sort of wake up when i get in from work and i have to go out again this is nice just to have a quick shower with something like this freshens everything up really minty really lovely really fresh and I usually get them there. I think they're like 99p or 199p and then something to that effect. Anyway, I have an empty Dove Shea Butter box. So it's the Dove Soap, sorry. Purely pampering, beauty bar with vanilla scent. I love the smell of this, absolutely. I'm smelling the box because the soap was in it. It's just a really, really rich, luxurious smell and it leaves my skin, the soap itself leaves my skin lovely and soft and still clean, you know, sometimes with these things feels like you almost need to clean yourself again but this is lovely the bar though does disintegrate a bit too quickly for my liking you know it becomes that soppy mess but yeah like these i got these i think i got four for one pound or two pound or something to that effect in their multi-packet next up we have the nivea pearl beauty roll-on deodorant the smell of this was okay but as a deodorant it was rubbish it was absolutely rubbish. I don't know whether I sweat loads more than other people, but this didn't really last as a deodorant for me throughout the day. So, yeah, even on the days I wasn't exercising, you know, mid, like at lunchtime or whatever, this just didn't do the job. More to come. Next up, we have Luxatan Beauty Milk. It's enriched with grapeseed oil, sheer butter. This beauty milk moisturizes and softens the skin. It's fluid and light and whatever else. This was nasty. I didn't like it at all. It was incredibly perfumed. It didn't really seem to moisturize my skin. I get quite dry legs and this just didn't didn't make a dent in it at all. The um I I basically had to make myself use it to use it up, you know, that kind of way. Really didn't enjoy it. Wouldn't recommend it. Would never repurchase a full size. This was a sample I got and I just wouldn't get the full size. Maybe it's great for you, but it's so heavily perfumed. I wonder, does that make it drying again? I don't know, but yeah, really didn't like it. Next, I have a Vaseline hand cream. It's got healthy hands and UV protection, SPF 15, which I always think is a good thing. You don't want the age spots in your hands. Um, this is the aloe vera one. I love this, really, really nice. Sinks in really well, smells lovely, soothes my skin. I do have to use it a lot for it to help my hands, if that makes sense. I get really dry knuckles and you know really dry parts on my skin. But I liked using this a lot because it's sunk in so well. I was able to get on with my day and not worry about getting greasy fingers everywhere. So this is really good, liked it. Would probably repurchase when I've used up all my other hand creams. Next up is a sample of the Nivea Inchar Body Moisturizer. And this is skin conditioning for dry skin. Um, I only got a single use out of this, so I don't really know how well it works. It smelled good. You basically, you shower as normal, you wash as normal, then you apply this and, we, you know, give it a good old rub in, and then you rinse it off, and then you dry yourself and you go ahead and get dressed. I did try it instead of using my moisturiser afterwards, and it seemed okay. My skin was still, I have sometimes get dry patches in my upper arms and stuff, and I still had those, but I wouldn't expect to see a difference after a single use. But yeah, I got this free in a magazine, I think. So I have another one, I will try it out again and see how it goes, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be rushing out to buy it. Next, I have, everything's covered in dust. <laughs> Excuse me. Next, I have a perfume body lotion from Fendi. This I got as a sample from the Debenhams beauty event. Gee, could be over a year ago now anyway. But this was okay. I was in between moisturizers and I didn't really want to rush out and buy anything. The, this smelled really nice on the skin. Oh, there's a wee bit left, which is always good. 
this smells nice on the skin you know it's a nice it's a nice fragrance it wouldn't necessarily be the best moisturizer but rarely will you get a perfumed body lotion that is a good moisturizer but this was okay it didn't dry my skin out but it didn't help my dry skin if that makes sense the next thing I have is my Bare Minerals Primetime Primer. I've always been a big fan of Bare Minerals Primetime Primer. I may be changing my opinion. Well, not that I'm changing my opinion. This is a good primer. It has always worked really well for me. And I would definitely, you know, recommend checking it out or whatever else. I have repurchased this. This is like my second or third bottle, I think, of this stuff. And I've always enjoyed using it. But I am currently trying out the Smashbox Photo Primer and I prefer it a bit more. But yeah, if you have this, it's great. Use it up. It's really good. Next, I have a mascara from Collection 2000. It's the Big Fake False Lash Effect Mascara. I didn't even get to try this out properly. I had been saving it to try it out because I had a backlog of black mascara. I don't know if you can see how gross this is, but it's all dried on the brush. And it's just big and clumpy and disgusting. And I hadn't even opened it. So I don't know what happened there at all. And because of that, I definitely will not be picking up, you know, I'll not be buying one. Next, I have the Eve Loam Rescue Mask. I've already done a review on this. I got two uses out of this. Uh, there is a wee bit more in it, but I won't be using it because it doesn't agree with me at all. But I'll link the review down below and you can check it out yourself. So yeah, that was a sample I got from the Space NK beauty event quite recently. I have a L'Occitane Precious Night Cream and this was the sample that I got from a L'Occitane beauty event at Christmas and I used this as a night cream. I hated the smell that I just had a whiff of it and I just remembered. I really really disliked the smell of it. It's Ugh. um trying to see what what is in it. Organic Immortella from Corsica is a flower with exceptional longevity. It never fades, even when picked. So I'm guessing this is a flower that they've used in this. Uh, Immortella helps to stimulate collagen production uh, that contributes to fill in deep wrinkles and restructure the epidermis for, for smoother skin. Yeah, didn't notice anything. It's supposed to help with firmer skin, regenerated and reinforced skin, and smoother skin. Didn't notice any big massive difference with this at all. I think it was actually slightly heavy on my skin if I remember right. It was sort of, took a wee while to absorb and everything else. Didn't enjoy it, would not purchase the full size. I do have a few other bits from this range and I'm not sure if I will use them up or not, but we'll see. Yeah, so that's all gone. Lastly, I've left myself a note. <laughs> because I forgot to include this in my last empties. It's the L'Occitane Bon Mer Verbana Soap and I got that again from the L'Occitane Christmas event and I absolutely loved it. I really really liked it. I loved the, the it had quite a fresh fresh scent. It was really good at cleaning my skin and yeah I really really enjoyed using it and I may repurchase it at some point. I don't think it's too expensive. It'll be a bit of a treat. But yeah, so I left myself a note saying, Lux Tan Bon Mary for Banner Soap. So those are my empties. I will now go and recycle everything and put the rest out. Uh, yeah, and they, that's everything. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what's on my face for those of you that are interested. For those that aren't, thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. So what's on my face? I use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Really like this stuff, as I've said. I use my Bare Minerals Fair Matte Foundation, um, and then I use my Bare Minerals Well Rested under my eyes. On my eyes, I've used my Mac Painterly Paint Pot, and then I've used my Burly There Number Seventeen Trio. I used the lightest color all over my lid, and then I went in with the darker color in my crease, the brown color in my crease. I then line my eyes with my NYX Seafoam Green Pencil, 908. It's a metallic-y sort of minty green colour. It's lovely and the pencil's lovely and soft. I used my Liz Earl Lash Definition Smudge Proof Mascara. And for my eyebrows, I used the Eyebrow Kit from e.l.f. in Ash. On my cheeks, I've used Desert Rose Blush from NYX. This is a lovely blush. It's a nice, cool, tony pink colour. And on my lips, I have the Lipstick Queen in Rose Sinner. It's a matte pinky colour. To set everything, I used the Ready Translucent Powder from 
bare minerals over the main oily bits and then I use my hourglass ambient powder in ethereal light over the tops of my cheeks, the tops of my temples, down my nose and cubis bow etc. Then I set everything with my elf mist set and elf makeup mist and set spray and this is almost empty. That is absolutely everything so thank you very very much for watching guys hope you're having a lovely day and i will see you in my next video